Hello everybody, this is your neighborhood Jimmy is promo and I'm here to help you guys out with easy mode. So I have a fast favor to ask of you guys, if you guys can just help me out with this for two seconds. Um, number one, I want you guys to answer me these two questions. Number one, who is your carrier? And then number two, how has this video helped you? The reason why I ask these two questions is number one, to see if I'd be able to get specific carrier devices to help you guys out a little bit more. Uh, number two, how has this helped you in terms of are you about to buy one of the Samsung Galaxy devices or did you just buy a Samsung Galaxy device and you're learning the device? So please let me know. Uh, just write the comments at the very bottom. Please hit like and subscribe. Thanks for the support. And I'm going to do all I can to help you guys out. Thank you. So easy mode is actually just a mode on the Samsung Galaxy devices. You know, referencing the way that the phone operates, you know, mostly with the home screens, um, but it also entails a lot more than that too, and I'll show you what that what I mean by that. So number one, how you get into there is you hit on this menu icon on the very bottom, you go to settings, and then underneath settings, if you're looking at my phone and you notice yours looks a little different than mine, just so you guys know carriers are a little bit different when these phones come out. So uh, if yours has the tabs on the top, you go to device, and if your uh, phone does not have the tabs, then it's just going to look like this in terms of just the list. Um, but I will tell you right now that if you do have Verizon, for example, you can hit on the menu icon on the bottom and you can actually hit to switch to tab view, which makes it a lot easier. So just so you guys know, uh, all you got to do is just scroll on down. Then there's where it says easy mode. Now, if your phone does not say easy mode right off the bat, you know, one of the things it could say is home screen. Uh, mode and so what you want to do is underneath my device you just scroll down a little bit where it says home screen mode when you click on home screen mode there's your easy mode so it just depends on which carrier how they name it and things like that now if you have a phone that is underneath my device and then you go to home screen mode uh, but for some reason it says starter mode basically starter mode is very similar um, it's just a little premature compared to what easy mode is now uh, starter mode just helps you out with bigger icons, bigger text, and then widgets and things like that. So either way, it's a way to help anybody who is new to the Android world. So here is easy mode. I'm going to turn it on. And what it does is it's just going to limit everything. Um, not only make everything huge, but it's actually going to make different things operate in a different way in terms of applications. So here is an example. Uh, in terms of the camera, let me show you what the camera looks like on a phone that's in standard mode. So the camera that's in standard mode, as you can tell, I have, you know, flipping the camera from front to back. I got the dual camera so I can record the front facing and rear facing. I got the settings. And then you have all these different modes, several different modes that you can choose from. Um, but now let's say that you don't need all of this. This is where easy mode comes into play. So you head into the camera inside of easy mode. And all I have here is switching the camera front and back and then flash. That's it. Uh, in terms of the modes, there's only six different modes on there. So uh, this is where it's just crazy easy, point blank. Uh, just so you guys know, in terms of the standard mode, you're able to take pictures in all different sizes. Um, inside of easy mode, uh, it will be standard as 9.6 megapixels, and then the video will be 1920 by 1080 p So basically, basically you're 10 megapixels in the camera, and you're still full HD inside of your, your video. So with easy mode, instead of you having a whole bunch of different screens that's on, you know, the normal standard mode, um, what you're going to have is your normal basics that you use. Your date, your time, the weather, you got your gallery, internet. Um, when you go into the internet, all the different icons are bigger. Um, you got your text messaging, makes it easy. Over here, the third, uh, the third slide basically, or the third home screen, um, is going to be specifically to your apps. So this is your top nine applications that you'll be using. Now let's say there's one that's here that you don't want to have or you want to you know, switch these up. Hit on the menu button on the bottom left, go to edit, and this is where you can get rid of some of these applications, okay? Then you hit done. Now let's say that you want to add something here, it's very basic. Hit on add, and you just choose which ones you want to go there. So it makes it that easy. So if there's specific nine applications that you use every single day, this is where it'll be. If you want more apps than this, you just hit on more apps and it's actually alphabetical order for you. Um, so it's gonna make it extremely easy. Now in terms of the left-hand side with all of the uh, different contacts, there's gonna be nine of them that uh, will be automatically set there. So obviously a lot of people probably use about nine on average. Now as you can tell, I got a few people that are saved. If you have contact pictures with these contacts, the pictures will actually show up. Um, and then if you want to add somebody, just hit on add 
then you go to either create or add existing. So you just go to add existing, and then you add that person in there, or you can create a brand new one. Um, you also have logs, and this is going to be all your different call logs. So on any of these screens, uh, one of the good things for you guys to play with is hit on the menu button on the very bottom left. This is where it says easy settings, notifications. So this will be the notifications like emails, text messages. Here's search, just like the normal Google search and things like that. And then also what you have is edits. And so this is where you can edit the screen. Now, in terms of the home screen, you're only going to have three of them. You have notifications, easy settings, and then search. And then the very last one, you're going to have easy settings, notifications, search, and then you edit again so you can edit these applications. So it's extremely easy. Um, one of the things that you guys can also notice is that when you go into easy settings, this is what settings looks like in easy mode. So this is huge. Um, if you want all of the settings, just like it does in the normal standard mode, just click on more settings and everything is right there. And one of the things you're going to notice is this says multi-window and it is actually grayed out. Multi-window is actually an application or a feature that is blocked in easy mode. So this is where I have easy mode right here to where I can turn it on and off. And once you graduate and you want to head back home to your normal standard mode, here you go.